Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. To start off, we'd like to thank you for all the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Why do we gossip? Why does it seem so enjoyable sometimes? To gossip means to talk about someone who isn't there. It's generally frowned upon and discouraged since you may end up upsetting and hurting the person you're talking about. You may think that all gossip is intended to put someone down, but there are actually other reasons you may end up talking about someone behind their back. Before we start, we'd like to mention that this video is for educational purposes only, and it's created to help us understand why we do the things we do. It's not meant to justify, glorify, or to condone gossiping. This act can be harmful and negatively impact someone's mental and emotional well-being. With that said, here are eight of the most likely reasons why we gossip. Number one, to break the ice. Has there been a time where the only thing you had in common with someone you just met was a mutual acquaintance? Since the best way to break the ice with someone you just met is to find some common ground to talk about, it may be no surprise that you would try to make small talk by gossiping about someone you both know. And gossiping about someone you both know may be the way you end up getting to better know each other. Two, to stay in the loop. Do you live in a small town or a tight knit community? Since most people know each other already, gossiping about one another may be a way people stay in the loop about those in the community. This is especially true if the person you're talking about is really private and keeps to themselves. There may be no other way to know anything about them than by listening to gossip in town. Number three, to fit in. Do you find yourself gossiping from time to time to fit in with your peers? If you're surrounded by people who love to chit chat and gossip all the time, then chances are you're going to go along with it too. Your desire for social acceptance may outweigh your desire to do the right thing. After all, gossiping may be the only way to feel like you can get closer to your peers and belong in their group. Number four, to feel better about yourself. Does gossiping about others make you feel good? In psychology, this is known as downward social comparisons. It's a defensive tendency to boost your self-esteem by comparing yourself with people who may be worse off than you. While you may not like to admit it, gossiping may be a guilty pleasure because of how satisfying and comforting it may feel to judge and talk badly about someone you dislike so that you can feel better about yourself. Number five, to regain power. Have you ever gossiped about someone you were jealous of? When you come across someone you see as better than you in some way, Maybe they're more attractive or more popular or more accomplished. You may feel a need to tear them down. You may gossip about them because you unconsciously believe it will allow you to regain power and put the spotlight back on you. It may make you feel superior to those you feel jealous of. Number six, to have a distraction. Do you end up gossiping about someone when you have nothing else to do? After all, it is an easy but entertaining way to get you and your friends interested and engaged. There may be drama and excitement that can come from gossiping with your friends and to people who don't have much going on in their lives at the moment. So it's a fun but harmful distraction that may help you pass the time. Number seven, to feel closer to others. Did your friend really get into a relationship with someone they just met? or perhaps they've just ended a serious relationship. When this happens, do you have a habit of gossiping about the people you care about and talk about them behind their back? Those who crave intimacy and connection, but don't quite know how to communicate it in a healthy way and honest way, may turn to gossip instead. It may be a way to ask all the things they've been curious about, but too embarrassed to say to their face. And number eight, to hold people accountable. Do you gossip to hold other people accountable? Those who don't like resolving conflicts with confrontation may let out their feelings by gossiping about them instead. It may be a way for you to open up and air out your grievances about someone who had upset you without confronting them directly. Do you relate to this video? Have you ever gossiped because of one of these reasons? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.